I'm in the process of rewiring a house built in 1952. Wago 221 series lever nut splicing connectors are the perfect solution for temporary splices on short wires in electrical boxes after cutting the original soldered splices. There are push-in style connectors that take up about the same amount of space as the Wagos. You can reuse this ideal brand connector. However, the wires are removed by pulling them out of the connector. There's a risk of damaging the wires covering. It mars the copper and you have to cut the wire back and restrip it to remake the splice making the wires even shorter. There are three sizes of 221 series lever nuts that accept American wire gauge 12 through 24 solid, stranded, or fine stranded. Use the gauge on the side of the connector to strip the wire back 11 millimeters or about 7 sixteenths of an inch. Open the lever Insert the wire, close the lever. You can see if the wire has been inserted correctly. It's not listed on the installation instructions. I did contact WAGO to verify that if a wire is removed from a connector, there's no need to cut the wire back and strip it before reinserting it into the connector again. There's test ports on either side of the lever with the WAGO logo on it for a test probe. I was hesitant to recommend these connectors for permanent installation for high current applications until I saw some videos where over 100 amps was applied to the connectors before they started to break down. That's way over their 20 amp rating. I've also saw some claims that WAGOs fail. Perhaps the failed connectors were cheap counterfeits. Spend a few more cents per connector and buy WAGOs. After all, that company spent the money to test, design, and market them. Don't reward the cheaters making fakes and risk a possible fire due to a poor connection. I hope you find this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.